So I'm not sure if you've been following this whole Thunderfoot debacle, but considering that he has about 6 million followers, I'm guessing there's a good chance of it. Basically it's this. Thunderfoot used to make good videos mocking creationists and giving us helpful facts to rebut their stupid claims. But then he started making videos about how Muslims shouldn't build a cultural center in Lower Manhattan because they don't win many Nobel Prizes or something and freedom. So he's come under a ton of criticism lately, almost all of which he's steadfastly ignored. But finally, he decided to sit down with one critic, um, a guy who seems pretty intelligent, if not just a bit soft-spoken, named D. Landon Cole. And Thunderfoot has uploaded the results of this conversation. I tried watching it, but I couldn't. Mostly because Thunderfoot was infuriating, which I hadn't quite realized up until this point. But, I mean, he was really dismissive and evasive, and much of his logic was completely fallacious. Also, it was like five hours long, and I'm not even, I'm not even joking. It was seriously five hours long. And most of it went something like this. Okay, question one. How can you compare the building of Park 51 to Westboro Baptist Church's protesting of the funerals of dead soldiers? Well, what did I say exactly? Well, I don't have the exact quote right here. Yeah, I didn't say that. But you did. Nope. But nope. And besides, even if I did, they pretty much are the same. They are both judged by their actions. But one is building an interfaith cultural center and the other one is yelling faggot at the grieving relatives of dead soldiers. Let me finish. Okay. Also, both are people. Religious people. But you could also say that about Martin Luther King. Let me finish. Okay. I made a chart. That conversation and the whole surrounding shitstorm is really a good example of why I think I feel so disconnected from other YouTube atheists, because I feel like that's all the kind of conversation we ever have. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's great for other atheists to stand up and say, hey, we're not all like this guy, but I just can't take another goddamn video about how ill-informed Thunderfoot's Islam videos are, which is why I made this one about how ill-informed Thunderfoot's videos about Islam are. Um, but hey, give me a break. It's been a while since I've said anything that's remotely controversial. So there you go. In an attempt to up the ante, next week's video will be all about how The Beast with a Billion Backs is the best Futurama movie to date. Maybe that'll fire you guys up.